Hey everyone, my name is Kerry and welcome back to a new Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm going to be launching a new series known as Wipe Cycle. In this series, we are going to be exploring different kits and weapon builds that you can use depending on your wipe progression. Since we have an incoming wipe and a ton of new players that are going to be restarting, I thought it would be fitting to start with an early wipe loadout. Let's start with the gun, a base model SKS. Literally, that's it. Load it with PS ammo and you're good to go. I call it the Pripyat Slug. Not because it hits hard, but because it takes an entire century to reload. Eventually. This gun will cost you an astounding 22,630 rubles. PS rounds cost 87 rubles a shot. Now let's talk about possible upgrades. Early wipe your modifications are going to be limited. On top of that, you won't be able to modify weapons due to the hideout workbench upgrade. However, there are a few things you can do if you loot around reserve. There are tons of suppressor spawns within the knight buildings, especially white knight. On the roof, check the weapon boxes, crates, and shelves for weapon parts. You're looking for an item titled Hexagon SKS. If you are lucky, you might also find a 20 round magazine as well. With just these two attachments, you have taken a basic gun and transformed it into a formidable PMC killer. Now the nice thing about this gun is that it can be breech loaded, no matter the magazine size. What is breech loading you may ask? Well, when storing the ammunition in your pockets, whenever you go to reload, you'll rip open the top of the gun and load one round in at a time. Now this is really slow, so how can you improve this reload? Well, you need to find more than one SKS 20 rounder. Almost all weapon parts spawns have a chance to spawn this type of magazine. Here are a few places to check. So what should you wear? Early wipe I'd recommend checking out the bank robber chest rig from level 1 ragman. This is by far going to be your best option as it comes in at a low price of 8600 rubles. Now what helmet do I recommend? Well for the obvious choice, the steel helmet, also known as the penis helmet, is a great option. It's a level 3 helmet with a high ricochet chance and it also has the ability to let you wear a headset alongside, which is a huge plus. Now listen, do not under any circumstance wear a Degeta or a Colpack. I repeat, under no circumstance shall you even consider wearing a Degeta or a Colpack. As soon as you put one on, you basically become the Tarkov equivalent of Helen Keller. Now what body armor do I recommend? Well, I wouldn't recommend wasting your money on a pack of soft armor. However, be on the lookout for soap and toilet paper, as you can trade 4 toilet paper and 3 soap for a 6B515 armored rig. This armored rig has 4 1x2 slots and 2 1x1 slots. Early game you can rely on it to keep you alive because it has an armor class of 4. This will stop everything but 308 early wipe. For a backpack, I recommend running anything you can get your hands on, but I believe that if you run scav backpacks you will get an exponential boost to your ability to make money. So here's your full kit. Now obviously this is the upgraded one, so here's the one you should start with. I shall dub thy kit the Rat Capper, as you will be able to cap anything early wipe. I wish you all good luck and I hope you all have prosperous raids. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. According to my YouTube analytical data, 90% of you aren't subscribed. I highly recommend you do this as I will be uploading every day for the next week. If you think a friend could benefit from this video, send it their way. Thank you all for watching. Carrie, out for now.